We're in uh, Delta, British Columbia, and on, located on the Fraser River Delta, in fact at the east edge of Burns Bog, which is a, a large uh, organic deposit here. Uh, but our purpose here is to look at marine sediments as a parent material. So Stephanie, could you uh, describe how this, this uh, profile got here in the first place? Yeah, so what we have here at the bottom is, as you said, marine sediment. And that was deposited in the ocean, underwater. It's very fine-grained, so probably a fair ways away from the coast. And the second thing we have here, the top part, this black material is different. It's peat that deposited in a bog environment, mm -hmm. such as what we see today. So, uh, why do we have the peat forming in this location in association with this marine sediment? It's actually really common in the area. What happens is this marine sediment is very fine-grained, so it's very poorly drained. The water just cannot get through it. And it tends also to be laid out very flat. The landform associated with it tends to be very flat um, terraces. So it's an ideal environment for pulling of water. And when you have pulling of water over long periods of time, you start accumulating organic matter and forming a, a peat bog. And that's what we have here. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are the characteristics of this material, uh, particularly as a uh, parent, parent material for soils? Well, the main characteristic is that it's very fine grain. It's really high in clay. There isn't much else in there. So it's very poorly drained. It also lacks stratification, such as you would find in river deposit. So there is really no way for the water to get in there. So the, the drainage is really the main issue. So if you drained it and uh, began to oxidize it, you might see some changes in the appearance of the, um, of the profile? That's right, and we're already seeing changes here. You see that this thing has been exposed to oxygen for a while, and we start seeing mottles or brown spots where the iron is starting to oxidize and turn mm -hmm. brown. And I believe in some cases when we have this kind of uh, marine sediment, we also have entrapped sulfur and perhaps some very low pHs associated with it. Yeah, that happens in some soil, and what happens in these soils, if they get drained and exposed to oxygen, you have uh, you form basically acid mine drainage. The sulfur oxidizes and releases sulfuric acid, which is really low pH. pH lower than 3 That's or right. 2 sometimes. That's right. Yeah. So could you uh, briefly summarize then uh, the story with regards to uh, uh, marine uh, sediments? What we can see here, from what we see, is um, that the ocean was here uh, a little while ago and deposited this very fine grain, very well sorted sediment at the bottom. And then when the land rebounded, after the melting of the glacier, the ocean retreated. This marine sediment got exposed to the surface and water pooled on top with uh, this organic matter uh, accumulation that we see now. Uh, now with the development around this area, a lot of this uh, water is flowing away. The bog has been drained and things are starting to oxidize. We can see the models in the marine sediment and we can also see the peat layers starting to subside in a mm -hmm. lot of areas. Mm -hmm. And that all because of the uh, drainage. Mm -hmm.